Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Melenga, and I make YouTube content. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So, peep this reports from many media houses, including Webantu, Mkani, Zambian Watchdogs, and all the other media houses that you know, are claiming that Mtalemwanza has been fired from Hot FM. Now, if you don't know Mtalemwanza, um, she is a radio personality and a social media influencer who has been. Um, dubbed the queen of controversy okay she was hosting a show on hot fm called uh, i think it's a breakfast show with two other male co-hosts um personally i like the show and i liked her contribution to the show so to me it comes as something that's pretty pretty sad but um we're going to get into the details of dalemanza's being fired and just try to you know get into the minds of uh the ceo of hot fm and uh, everyone that's involved in this story so in a letter addressed to Mtale Mwanza, the CEO of Hot FM, Oscar Chavula wrote, Dear Ms. Mwanza, it is with profound regret that I must inform you that management has decided to terminate your employment with Hot FM with immediate effect. We find your brand to be seriously in conflict with the Hot FM brand and values and can no longer allow this trend to continue. Your latest antics are, in our view, highly disrespectful, unprovoked, and unconsc unconscionable pardon me, <laughs> considering that they were targeted at an elderly national leader. It literally amounts to cyberbullying and we do not condone such in our values and principles. We believe we have cautioned you enough in the last few months regarding your public conduct and warned you against dragging our brand and company down to your level. Wow, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> Time has come to part company with you and we wish you well in your future endeavors regards oscar chavula wow that was a really strong worded message sent to mtale now some of you might be wondering like why why has he finally decided to like fire mtale mwanza like what's what's pushed him to the edge like what did mtale do this time to make um mr chavula and the rest of the board at hot fm want to part ways with mtale well i'm going to read the posts that um got mtale in so much trouble okay so this was posted, uh, I think it was today on the 24th of February, Mtale wrote. Now let's be honest, which B would you rather vote for? Bio oil or booze? To Saka Central 2021 independent for youth representation is obviously M Nation for the win. The youths of Zambia can finally have a say. M Army, we are going to war. Now, maybe some of you might be saying, no, I don't understand, like, why, why did this post get her fired? Like, I was so disrespectful about it. I think it's the part where she says, bio oil or booze, because she attached a picture of herself and um, the Honorable MP of Lusaka Central Constituency, Ma Madam Margaret Manakatwe, on the right. So she's basically saying, why are you going to vote for me, bio oil, or Miss Manakatwe, booze, you know? She's a very respected um, member of parliament and uh, she's been in the political game for a very long time. So she obviously has influence, you know what I mean? And saying such things about her was obviously going to get her in some form of trouble. So it comes as a shock to me. And honestly, I've always known um, Tali to be someone who protected her brand. But of late, she's been in so many scandals that have been a bit damaging to her. So I just really hope that she doesn't lose any more brand deals because she's uh, she's got a lot of a lot of brand deals she also works at um zambezi magic hosting a show there you know so such comments you know we really need to be careful with how we use social media especially for people who have a lot of influence mtalemanza has got over 300,000 followers on on her facebook and over i think over 100,000 on her instagram so anything that you're going to say is going to be scrutinized or it's going to be looked at differently from like an average person posting such a thing, you know? Obviously she did post a video afterwards saying, no, it was a joke, I didn't mean this and that, 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 but like the damage has already been done. Even after she deleted the post, a lot of people had already screenshotted and people have seen. So it's uh, really sad, but um, I will definitely keep you guys updated and see how this story develops. And uh, we'll keep uh, up to date with uh, the latest happenings in the Zambian entertainment industry. Thanks for watching.